Hello and welcome to the Random Bros. In this video we will show you how to edit your underwater raw photos using Lightroom and Photoshop. Everything you see here was shot using a Sony A6500 with a Samyang 12mm f2 lens with no additional lighting equipment. You can follow the same process with any camera that can shoot raw photos like a GoPro or anything similar. First, you add your photos to Lightroom. You select the photo you like and then pick the white balance selector. You zoom in your photo using the space button and try to find the white spot in the picture. Now, take a look at the skin color before and after. With this tool, we are trying to get rid of too much blue in our picture. By pressing Alt, you can see the spots that are going to be overexposed or underexposed. When you're fixing the black's value, you see that the spots they appear in a black color are gonna be underexposed. The goal here is to have the minimum amount of black spots. Normally, I leave it at the value that I see the first black spot on the picture, but you can do it as you like. The same goes on when you're fixing the white values, but in reverse. The Dehaze tool helps to make the background pop up. On the curves panel, I usually do a light S curve to give some light to the face and darken the background. If you go all the way down, you find the lens correction panel. You go ahead and select your camera and then Lightroom will automatically remove any distortion or chromatic aberrations your lens have. You might want to do that before you start editing, but it's up to you. the sharpening panel the same principles exist. <clears throat> By hitting the Alt button it shows you the areas the sharpening will be applied to. The white spots are those they are gonna be affected by the value of sharpening you have selected. Next, we will apply a gradient filter to make the top of the picture darker and give it a unique look. I tend to lower the exposure, shadows and blacks to a level that gives me the look I want. After that, we select the adjustment brush. Hit the show selected mask overlay to be able to see the areas we are painting over. Here, I'm painting over the eyes to give them some extra light and sharpness because the diving mask creates some dark shadows to the eyes. Using the Alt button and dragging the right click, you can adjust the size of the brush. And then you keep up with your exposure values.
When you feel confident with the results, you go ahead and open the edited image in Photoshop. We duplicate the background layer, select the two copies and hit Ctrl G to make a group. In one of the copies, we apply a Gaussian blur filter at the value close to 20 and to the second one, we apply a high pass filter at the value close to 15. Go in each copy and select Soft Light. Then lower the opacity of the folder to around 10 to 20 percent. Next step is to create a new layer and press Shift, Ctrl, Alt and E to create a new copy of the picture with the existing effects. I personally like to redo a quick edit in Camera Raw to make everything blend together. After that, we will apply a gradient to guide the eyes of the viewer to the subject. You select the mask of the gradient and paint a big circle with a black color to remove the gradient to the areas you don't want it to be. Select the soft light again, lower the opacity to a level you like and that was it. Thanks a lot for watching the Random Bros and if you like this video, leave us a thumbs up.